The holidays are always full of classics, and what more fitting classic than a Charlie Brown cartoon, with perhaps a little unusual way to showing the meaning of Thanksgiving. The charm still manages to make its way with a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. No, I am the father. And here we go. That belongs in a museum. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? You're gonna need a bigger boat. This is Sparta! Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Thatcher, welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome back to Easily Entertained. I'm your host, Bryson Olson, here to talk about all things entertainment. Today is going to be a little bit shorter episode because happy Thanksgiving. I want you to go spend some time with your families. But of course, we still got to have our weekly episode. So I thought we would cover one of the classics, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, one that almost everyone I feel like has seen. And, you know, it's classic classic Peanuts style, and it's something that kind of gets you in the mood for the holidays. I feel like with Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, most of the holidays all have a Charlie Brown special, and I figured it was one that everyone has seen, and so we can kind of review it and give my thoughts, because I've not always been a huge Peanuts fan, which may seem kind of blasphemous to most people who really like the comics or the cartoons, and it's not like I haven't seen them. I have seen them, and I like the 3D animated movie that came out in 2015. I do like Peanuts, don't get me wrong. I don't think they're bad in any way. But personally, they just haven't always been for me, and especially the classics, Peanuts. I really like the movie. I actually think the movie's really fun, but the TV specials and like the shows and things like that, that I don't think is as good as they claim to be. And particularly in this one, I'll use this one as a major example. So, you know, this is just based off a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and not specifically any of the others because I haven't watched most of them for quite a long time. I just rewatched this one because it was on Apple TV and I was like, oh, perfect. I will review this for Thanksgiving. It'll be great. <laughs> but the main thing, I think, especially in this one, the pacing is kind of bad. Like it feels like it drags on a little bit. Like they get their voice actors to read each line as slow as possible. And that results in a lot of dead space, dead space that doesn't really need to be there. So with that, you kind of get bored really fast. And that has always been a problem for me with the Peanuts series in general, is that it has been kind of badly paced. It's really slow. It doesn't connect with the audience very well. And I think that's because it is meant for a half hour TV special. So you're accounting for ads and things like that. And so they want it to reach that full 30 minutes, but what ends up happening is you get a lot of dead space because the story itself doesn't need to be 30 minutes. The story itself could be really cut down to probably 15 minutes. Like even most of the talking, you could cut it way faster and it would probably be received a lot better because of that trimming. And with the Thanksgiving one especially, not a lot happens, which kind of makes sense because it's Thanksgiving, so not a lot really happens around Thanksgiving because you're mostly having dinner with people you care about and being grateful for things, and so that's kind of how the holiday is. But to have like an engaging visual medium like a movie or a TV special, you need to make something happen. You need to make your audience care about why they're watching. It's not just sitting there being like, oh, I'm enjoying a good time. It's exactly what my family is like. That's not really what most people want to see. They want to see over-dramatization. They want to see something happen. Even if you're watching a show where like, it's typical day-to-day -day things that happen, they over-dramatize it, and that's because those, don't, those things don't happen in real life. And so Peanuts 
is more a reflection of what real life is rather than that over dramatization and so it kind of ends up feeling a bit slow which i personally am not a huge fan of so like for the thanksgiving one in particular because like i said we're just reviewing that one today it tends to feel more like background noise it's something that you put on while you're hanging out with your family and don't really have to pay attention to and some things are made specifically for that but it doesn't feel like that was the case for this it feels like they wanted to grab your attention but it doesn't necessarily do that very well and kind of a part of this could be that it's old it's from the 70s 70s 60s and so it's definitely a product of the times you feel its age but you know maybe people like it and there's a reason they keep re-airing on tv or they bring them on like apple tv so you can watch all the peanut stuff they clearly still have their charm and just with this one it doesn't feel like it's really about thanksgiving they put on an event and whatever but it doesn't exactly feel like they're like hey you should be grateful for what you have during thanksgiving instead it's more our friends shouldn't invite themselves to things like yeah you should be grateful for what you get and not like an actual thanksgiving dinner like in this case because they serve like popcorn and stuff but they don't really share what they're all grateful for and so th with that aspect in mind it kind of falls a little flat and maybe that's just me you know it's something that's meant to not use your brain all that much you kind of just put it on and set it to the side kind of let things play in especially because you know it's got that smooth jazz which kind of works for it and so it's definitely more of a background piece at least in my opinion but let's let's ignore all the negative stuff okay let's ignore the negative let's talk about the positive let's be let's be grateful for the peanuts because it is thanksgiving you know and with this special i think it does still have that classic charm to it. it has that peanuts vibe almost everyone has seen it like even if it's not really your cup of tea you've probably seen the thanksgiving one it's pretty recognizable and something i will kind of praise about this and the peanuts cartoons overall the 2d animated ones is they really feel like the comics have been brought to life it's the comics just animated because it's all in the same style it's not like the movie where i do like the movie and it's like a combination of hybrid 3d and 2d it still feels like the comics in these old ones because they're i'm assuming because it's the 60s they're hand drawn and everything so everything feels like it's the comic it feels like it's brought to life granted with a lot more dead space because they're trying to push it for a half hour show but for the most part it does feel like those comics are brought to life you also have the iconic smooth jazz going in the background which i feel like we need more of nowadays i feel like we need some cartoons that are kind of just low-key and not trying to not trying to be like spider-verse or things like that granted we need those movies too but not every movie has to be that some can just be like background noise it, some and like that sounds like a derogatory thing but it's a show you don't have to put your full attention into you don't have to focus super hard on them and around the holidays you need that because you're so you're talking with your family and your friends and you're all ha hanging out and having a good time and sometimes you just need that background noise to have it you can occasionally tune in and watch the actual show or you can just kind of listen to it in the background kind of just like music and when you have that smooth jazz it's perfect and i think kind of with this one you get some good examples of the characters you still get the classic charlie brown football gag you still get snoopy and woodstock who i actually didn't know their name was woodstock until you like yesterday which is kind of hilarious because I didn't know the bird actually had a name, but apparently it is. His name is Woodstock. And so I do like those aspects of the Peanuts. And I think although they're way older 
now. They still have their kind of classic charm. You still think about the peanut stuff during the holidays. You still are going to have a good time watching a peanut special. The Thanksgiving one may not be your favorite because it doesn't really embody the holiday as the other ones do, but you still are going to have a good time. You're still going to want to sit down and watch it and especially because they're all kids, they're making do kind of thing. It's still pretty fun. It's it still keeps you pretty entertained. You know, the show is easily entertained. Of course, you got to be entertained even on Thanksgiving. And so that I really like about the Peanuts movies because they still are trying to keep you entertained. It's not just about, oh, we need to tell an amazing story. We need to do some incredible animation and granted it's the 60s they it was incredible for the time but you still kind of get that holiday feeling you know it gets you ready for the holidays even if it gets you ready for like christmas instead of thanksgiving because you know you're playing all the holiday specials like back to back you're thinking about all of them but you still get that classic peanuts charm which i do think is still worthy in this time i still think it holds up in it you know, makes you ready for the holidays. It makes you ready to be thankful for shows other than the Peanuts. <laughs> but, you know, I still like it. I still think it's a good Thanksgiving type show. Thanksgiving? I sound Southern for a second. But, yeah, I really like it. And so, before we leave, we got to get into our question of the week, which would be, what is your favorite Peanuts character? So, we got our classics like Snoopy, Woodstock, Charlie Brown, Lucy, you know, who would be your favorite Peanuts character? We gotta know. Personally, mine, it's gotta be Snoopy. Like, of course. How could it not be Snoopy? Snoopy's the go, man. He's amazing. You know, he does all the stuff. In the new, like, 2015 movie, he pilots his doghouse as a plane. It's freaking epic, okay? But in, like, the classics... Snoopy's doing all kinds of fun little shenanigans. In this one, he sets up the table. He's helping cook all the food. Snoopy really be doing all the things, and it's great. And I think he's probably the most iconic of the Peanuts characters. Charlie Brown, I would say, is second. But Snoopy, I think, is more recognizable as a character than Charlie Brown is. Like, most people will know both of them, and they're usually associated very closely with each other. But I think Snoopy... It's kind of like Mickey Mouse or Mario. If you see that character, you immediately know what cartoon you're talking about. You're like, oh, the Peanuts, because it's Snoopy. And if you hear Charlie Brown, you recognize the name, but you don't immediately think that, at least in my personal opinion, okay? But yeah, I think Snoopy is best. So I wanna know what is your favorite Peanuts character? And I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Let us know in your answer to the question of the week, what is something you are grateful for this year or just in life in general? You know, we got to be thankful on this holiday. It's a wonderful time. Go spend some time with your family. Have a great holiday season. And we will be back next week talking about the new Hunger Games movie with a bit more of an in-depth review and a lot longer about the Hunger Games, the Ballard, of songbirds and snakes. It'll be a great time. But until then, we'll see ya. You have been easily entertained.